Hello, I'm Chris Bird and welcome to Poker Room Review, your travel guide for live poker rooms all across the world. In each episode, we review a live poker venue, discussing the important things you need to know when planning your next poker destination. As always, for each venue, we review location and access, game options, service and experience, and rake and rewards. We also discuss any rules, quirks, and issues we identify relating to each location. Today, we're at the famous King's Casino in Rosvedov, Czech Republic, one of the most iconic poker destinations in all of Europe. But does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. Category 1. Location and Access The Czech Republic in Central Europe is primarily known for its romantic medieval capital, Prague. But travel from there westward 140 kilometers towards the border with Germany and you'll reach sleepy Rosvedov, a country town with a population only 800 people. There, popping out of literally nowhere, is King's, a combined hotel, casino and home of the famous King's Poker Arena. While Prague remains the closest major airport, many people arrive from Germany in the west, especially from Munich, Nuremberg and Stuttgart. While I have a lot to say about King's that is incredibly positive, here I must bring up one of its two major drawbacks, getting there. To get to Rosvedov, you need a car. Now, if you live in continental Europe and want to make a holiday that's specifically for poker, then taking the long drive to King's is an absolutely fantastic option. However, if you aren't driving, then the only way to make it worthwhile is to travel with a group of poker playing friends. This is because a car shuttle from Prague Airport to Rosvedov is 160 euros each way, more if coming from Germany. This service is managed by the casino and believe it or not, it's the cheapest option while public transport really isn't a thing. The only way to make this worthwhile is if you're traveling with a few poker playing friends and you split the cost between you. I say poker playing friends because other than the casino, there is nothing for a family to do at all. Bringing a significant other and offloading them in town while you hit the felt is not gonna be good for your relationship. Personally, I feel that unless you're playing nosebleed stakes or driving yourself, it's just not worth it as a solo traveler. As I didn't know how impossible getting to Rosvedov would be, it ended up costing me almost 500 Australian dollars just to get to and from Prague Airport, which was quite the bitter pill, although the casino did organize for me to split the fare on the return journey with a friendly Dane called Johan. Shout out to you, mate. There are a few things that make the pill easier to swallow. Accommodation expenses for Rosvedov is much lower than a lot of other places, and you can stay at King's itself for as little as 30 euros per night during the week, or around 70 euros on weekends. Rosvedov locals are incredibly friendly with true country hospitality, and the rolling hills of the Czech countryside is quite the unique landscape for a poker adventure. Not to mention the exceptionally clean air, which unfortunately Kings manages to ruin, and I'll come back to that a little later. Overall, there is no getting around the fact that Kings is probably the most isolated major poker room on earth, with no affordable way for a solo traveler to get there. The casino would do well to sponsor a bus service to and from surrounding airports a few times a day to give people more cost-effective options. But until that happens, for location and access, one and a half stars. Two, game options. This is where King's Casino just blasts away all the competition. Cash games are running 24 seven and is likely the largest poker room in Europe. While the mornings and weekdays usually just have low stakes hold'em cash, by the evenings, everything is running. In Euros, Kings has a 1-3, 2-5 and 5-5 and PLO as well as 5 card PLO. A 25-25 game also gets up on weekends. Max blinds for 1-3 is around 133 big blinds, 200 big blinds for 2-5 and uncapped for 5-5 and above. Tournaments are a constant fixture, available each and every day, satisfying every possible stake level and structure with buy-ins ranging from just 50 euros right through to 10,000 plus. Whatever your taste in live poker, King's Casino is the absolute gold standard, tailor-made to satisfy you. At most major venues around the world, including Vegas, casinos have poker rooms attached to their gaming floor, 
whereas King's really is a large dedicated poker arena with a casino attached. Five stars. Three, service and experience. Service and experience should be another five out of five, and it would be if not for a single catastrophic drawback, which I'll get into. But first, there is so much positive to discuss. The service is frequent and attentive. Non-alcoholic drinks are complimentary, as is food. You can have a nice breakfast brought to you at the table. And for lunch and dinner, there is a excellent gourmet chef prepared buffet ranging across all food types. Probably one of the best buffet experiences you'll have anywhere, period, and it's completely free. The felt is lovely and the cash table chairs are large and comfortable, albeit well used. The dealers are some of the best in the world, controlling the action with dramatic efficiency. Massages are available at the table for purchase, and uniquely, the cash game blinds are written on the dealer button, meaning you'll never sit down at the wrong game by mistake, a real risk for a poker room of this size. Like most European casinos, you must play with a registration card, and the staff at the reception desk are friendly, efficient, and with a great sense of humor. Just be sure to bring your passport with you on your first visit. Now there is a 10 euro entry fee for Kings, payable once per day, however given the breadth of complimentary service on offer, it really is outstanding value for money. The only slight negative is that cash chips can only be purchased from the cage, which can lead to some long queues. Also they are only able to change euros and check coronas. This might not seem like much of an issue until you remember that Rosvedov is literally in the middle of nowhere. If you come from abroad, make sure you have sufficient euros with you to sustain you for the entire trip because there isn't anywhere else to change money. Now for the major drawback, which for many, including me, is a deal breaker. Now this won't affect you too badly if you just play tournaments exclusively, as the tournament arena is a distance from the general gaming floor, though you'll still have to walk through it to access the arena or while visiting the front cage. However, for reasons that are hard to fathom, the general gaming floor is a smoking area. You cannot light up while sitting at the poker table, but anywhere behind the rail is fine, which from the cash tables is just a few feet away. There isn't even good air extraction with billows of cigarette smoke all around you while you play. Now, if you want to smoke, that's fine. Gamble and smoke, sure. But casinos should have sealed off rooms specifically for that purpose. However, for casino managers to forcibly asphyxiate the clientele with poisonous gas is unacceptable. While at King's, I felt constantly sick needed to shower several times a day, and after each session wanted to incinerate my clothing, it was just an awful environment. And whether you personally smoke or not, what this broadcasts is that managers of King's Casino don't really care that much about the health and well-being of patrons, staff, or even the maintenance of its own furnishings. It would be irresponsible for us to recommend you visit a venue that knowingly places your health at risk and thus would normally give it zero stars, except that King's Casino really sets the gold standard in literally every other aspect of service and experience. So out of respect to that, two stars. Four, rake and rewards. It's mixed. On the plus side, rake at lower stakes is 5%, which is perfectly reasonable. But it's capped at 20 euros, which is quite high for a 1-3 game, especially if you also tip dealers, which is not expected, but is accepted and appreciated. The benefits derived from playing at King's Casino financially is in the cost of accommodation and complimentary food and beverages. But what is really surprising for a casino room of this size is that there are no in-game jackpots or bonuses of any kind. So no bad beats, royal flush jackpots, or high hand bonuses. It's just straight poker played across the felt. Also, given that the stacks at King's Casino tend to play on the deeper side, with frequent under the gun or Mississippi straddles, rake caps tend to be hit quite frequently. Overall, rake at King's Casino is mediocre, two and a half stars. Finally, the rules, quirks, and issues we come across. There are a few things that do seem a little bit odd or unusual, but nothing that could be described as bad. First, at Kings, any stack at the table will be dealt in in all games, including cash games, even if the player isn't there. If a player is back in their seat by the time the action gets to them, they'll be able to play their hand. 
players can run it twice, but the pot has to be over 400 euros at the minimum low stakes, and there's no limit to run it twice at 5.5 or above. Mississippi Straddle has been mentioned, but all players must agree to allow it before it can be put in. Dealers also carry their own chip tray around, which can seem a bit odd when they rotate. On one final positive to be mentioned, the Czech Republic has taken in a lot of refugees from Ukraine since the start of Russia's horrible invasion, and this is visibly evident at King's, where at the time of recording, a large number of dealers are clearly Ukrainian Slavs. The managers have gone above and beyond here to extend employment options to those left homeless by the conflict, and I want to recognize that here because it is important and appreciated. If only they would show similar care for their health and well-being when it comes to smoking. Overall, Kings gets three stars, but this would jump to four or perhaps even higher should they come to their senses with respect to the smoking policy. We review new poker rooms regularly, so if you found value in this content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because that's the only way YouTube will know this is the case. Also, if you have access to any Facebook groups, poker forums, please consider sharing this video because getting more views is the way we can create more content. In the meantime, have you been to King's Casino in Rosadov? If so, what did you think? Is there anything I've missed or recommendations you would include? I'm sure everyone would appreciate your thoughts on the matter below. If you want to check out more reviews, you can do so right now. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.